Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're reporting to you from Quartzite and I got to meet Carolyn yesterday here at the RTR Open House. So Carolyn, thank you so much for joining. It's great to meet you in person. I've seen you on the YouTube channel. So. Fun, right here. Fun. This is perfect. I know. Yeah. Isn't it great? <laughs> That's great. Well, thank you again for showing us your vehicle. vehicle. What, what kind of vehicle is it? It's a Ford Transit Connect. It's okay. a 2012 and I picked that because I think it's 2013 and before has a little bit higher roof and better gas mileage. So those were both important to me. Oh, very good. What kind of gas mileage do you get? So I got 25 around town and about 31 on the highway. So that's pretty fabulous. So jealous. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. excellent. So that was really in your mind when buying this was yeah. the fuel economy, the economy of it. And the stealth too. That's the other yes. reason I picked this was because I can park. I've parked in hotel parking lots sometimes or just places where it just looks like a regular vehicle and it's not an obvious RV. Okay, yes. welcome to my little home. I left the, one of the cubes out to give me a place to get dressed and I can sit here and do all sorts of things. So clothes uh, go in here mm -hmm. and you can see, you know, some things like socks and so on go inside, uh, you know, specific bags so they're easier to find. That makes sense. There are cutouts on each side. So that's one nice thing about this. It's really heavy birch wood, so it's really pretty wood. But oh, nice. all the things I need to get to easily, some of the cords. When I started out on the road, I had my batteries over on the other side and they were hard to get to. So I found I really needed to stack them here so I could plug things in and out, it just for practical sake. And what do you use for electricity? So I have a um, solar panel, a Jackery. It's a portable 100 watt. Mm -hmm. And so it charges the Jackery and I have a Blue Eddy. <laughs> and this is the Jackery Explorer 240. And the Blue Eddy is, uh, it says 268 watt hours. Does that right. sound like? So it's enough to um, run my refrigerator, which is the main thing I need to run. Oh, all right. And so I brought two batteries so I could charge one with the panel while the other one is keeping the refrigerator cold. Panel, do you also charge while driving, I'm assuming? I do, yes. Mm. I'm always charging when I'm driving. I gotcha. Uh, this yeah. is the refrigerator. So this is one nice thing about the unit is it, it comes with slides. Oh, very nice. And um, this is the Alpacool. Van packers on their website will tell you what refrigerators will fit in each kit. They have all different kinds of kits, right? Oh. So they have a list of what would fit. And um, this is just really convenient, you know, super easy. And my water, I started out with five gallons of water. I'm getting down there, so I'm going to probably fill up pretty soon. Mm. But it's nice to be able to carry five, five gallons at a time. The other thing oh. is... Um, I can wash dishes here if I want. What I'm, I'm actually using the spray bottle with the vodka method, but if I want to, I've got a sink right here where oh. it's super easy to fill, wash the dishes. I keep biodegradable soap in here. Yeah. And um, you just have to collapse it back up before you close it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Who did you buy a kit through? It's called Van Packers. They're based in Montreal, all right. uh, Montreal, Canada, and the shipping was included all the way from Montreal to Cal California. So that was part of the price. All right. And I suppose you probably want to know the price. Yep, that was the next Everybody question. Everybody wants to know. Yeah, so how much um, was that? So it was 4,200 for the whole right. kit. And was it difficult to put that kit in there? It was super easy. Oh. So the kit came on a big pallet. All right. And it's all pre-assembled, so that was super nice. I didn't have to screw anything together. Okay. And my husband and I literally just lifted it and put it in place. And we've moved it around like four times. You know, right. like, oh, I want it this way. No, let's switch this. And all right. Until you get it the way you want it, right? So oh, awesome. band packers, you said they're out of Montreal. Yeah. Right. And is this made specifically for the transit? No. <laughs> All right. Tell us about so that. So the story about this is it's not really um, meant for the Ford Transit Connect. So I contacted them and I asked them which of their kits might fit because mm -hmm. I really like their construction. It's all... 15 millimeter birch, which I think works out to three quarters inch. It's either okay. three quarters or five eighths inch. So it's super durable, but also beautiful. Yeah. And um, they said that this kit would fit, uh, but it would be a little squishy. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll put up with that because I wanted the quality of the mm -hmm. work, right? Like, so. What inspired you to buy a van or get on the road or kind of dip your toes into this lifestyle? Yeah, well, I've always loved being out in nature. I used to do a lot of horseback riding when I was younger. All right. And so spent tons of time out in nature and I found my life had gotten kind of closed in and I wanted mm -hmm. to be outdoors more. Um, I have friends to camp with. I have a great group now that I've been here at the 
um, RTR, it's uh, amazing. Everybody is so fabulous here. Absolutely. The community so is huge. Community. Yes. So community is part of it. Um, I feel safer in this than I would just in a tent. If I'm a woman camping all by myself, I, w I like having the walls around me. For sure. And um, I've got it set up so I can jump from the bed into the driver's seat if anything gets weird and I can drive away. So um, you'll notice I keep, this This ends up being my nightstand here. All right. So I keep things that I'm gonna need for warmth at night for right. taking a shower or any sort of toiletries, brushing teeth. I keep in one backpack and that just slides out of the way. Um, this kit has arms, Oh. so if you're on the other side, this can be a chair, it can be a seat. You oh, can do no it kidding. either way. You yeah. can have it set so you can look out the back too. And um, so most of my cooking equipment is right here. Um, I have a one burner stove, extra butane down there. Um, I've got a, um, it's like a jet boil. It's a competing brand, but sort of all my utensils. Um, vodka for cleaning my dishes, all right. where you wipe off all the um, food particles and then spray with vodka. Just for sanitizing and then wipe it. Again. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and you know it's edible because it's vodka. Yeah, right? there you go. <laughs> um, so, and um, this is actually meant for a two burner stove. Because I have a one burner stove that I really like using, mm -hmm. I just put a cutout. This is a lid of a, a paper, you know, from work. And um, there's a little thing that sticks up, so I cut a hole so it won't slide back and forth. So I just put dry goods, things I might want. Um, my silverware is in here. Yeah. Stove. And um, where do you put the, uh, where do you place that stove while you're actually heating something up? Ah, I have a table. Oh, excellent. All right. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. All right. That sounds perfect. Now, I really like your window coverings. Did oh, you, thank you create those yourself? I did. So. Um, when I bought the van, they gave me some Reflectix. Mm -hmm. And so the Reflectix, I made sure was cut, you know, just to the right shape. And I saw that Sue Ann did um, fleece because you don't have to hem it. So oh. I wanted it to be really stealth. So I, I have all the black really up against every edge. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted it colorful inside though. So I put a turquoise fleece here and then just trimmed it down. So there are magnets inside here. So I just. It goes right up in place. Oh, yeah. Cool. Now, what do you use for a bed? What's your sleeping system ah. look like? So, um, this is um, a mattress from REI. It's a super comfortable, super thick. It's like four inches thick. It has foam oh, wow. inside. Air need, as well? Yeah, air as well. So you can make it different. You can make it firmer or softer. Then I have, because we're in the cold here, it gets cold overnight, I have a sleeping bed that supposedly goes down to zero degrees, but do you I wouldn't it? want to. No, okay. <laughs> but but it's fine. It, in the 40s and high 30s, it's fine. Uh, uh, I do have an electric blanket, but I mostly don't use it because I'm trying to conserve energy for the refrigerator. <laughs> we have our priorities, right? Absolutely. What I do want to show though is that it's a little bit of a hassle. You have to kind of lift the mattress. All right. On this side. So this in does? here, um, extra utensils. So it's not that hard to get to, mm -hmm. but. Um, a little bit of a nuisance, but anyway, some trail snack and just different things. This is kind of my pantry and also on the other side are things, like I said, power cords that I need to get to easily. And that connects all the way through to the other side. So you can it get does. to that stuff. All and right. there's a cutout on the other side, as you noticed. So that's oh, good. Oh, very nice. On this trip, a friend gave me drawers. So that's good. I haven't really organized them yet, but it's going to be really nice to have oh, for drawers sure. there. So and what's yeah. that? That's a pretty simple system though. I like that everything has, like everything can open up and you have access to everything, but it still keeps it contained. Yes. Wow, oh, that's very, very And cool. it doesn't rattle going down the road. And to me, noise reduction is really important. And so, so my dream is I'm going to be parked at a beach and there are going to be lovely waves. Mm -hmm. You know, you can teach me how to go to Baja, right? <laughs> I know and, that. Uh, and I can set up my chair here and I can have a cushion, whatever, but there are two legs that support this up so that I can have a comfortable place to sit and just relax. And then you just can straight out at the waves. Yes. I can envision it right now. And one thing I should mention, the kit comes with uh, full cushions all the way around, cushions for everything and they make this into a chair or a couch or whatever you want to call it. And I wanted my bed. <laughs> So I left the cushions at home, okay, but good. they're really nicely made. They are, they're good quality. 
And that was, so they actually give you a bed if you want to use that yes, particular bed. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. And so then if you put that edge down, then you can put this one up. Yes. All right. Then you have a chair, chair from, from the, the inside. inside. Exactly. Oh, that's super, super clever. I like that. Yeah. All right. And then I also see that there looks like maybe a tabletop right here. There is. Yeah. Let's pull the tabletop out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tabletop. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to use it outside, there's a base and a pole. Oh. And for the inside, so exactly. there's this handy piece that goes in. That looks complicated. Not at all. Look at this. So it just slots right in, slides in place. All right. In goes the pole. And now you have a table and you can do it different directions, obviously. It'll swivel around. And now you have a table. So if you wanna, I'll back up so you can get a better view of that. And so if you put that back chair up, then you'd be sitting right at the table. Exactly. Oh, that is super slick. Isn't that, that sweet? Was, yeah, that's cool. And I like the support system down here. That's cool. I like that. That is super geeky and I love it. I know. <laughs> so I just used from the dollar store. Oh. Uh, just um, the phone. Swimming pool noodle, whatever it is. Yep. It cost me $1.25. That's perfect. And the bucket was what, about $5? Yeah, that's so, a cheap toilet. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I actually had a more expensive toilet, $30, you know, from Walmart, I think, that had legs on it, but it was so complicated. I just liked the bucket better. Yeah, a lot of people do. It's so simple and Super effective. Super simple. Yeah. And you can store the stuff. I store, um, so I have pine pellets that I got from Tractor Supply. I store it underneath the All bags. Right. I do a triple bag system. Okay. Explain. Three bags in, but underneath I've stored some uh, pellets so that you can just throw a handful in there and they expand and absorb liquid. Oh. So that's really nice. Well, well so um, when, when I park for the night, I can just pull the curtains closed and um, then I have privacy. And sometimes I have a hook here to kind of, you know, increase it or just tuck it in here. To black then, it out more. And these are blackout curtains from... Walmart, I think they're pretty inexpensive. Know. And was it, how did you install the bar up there? Oh, that's a good question. Um, it's a standard, I believe it's a shower curtain rod and it's a standard curtain receptacle. <laughs> I don't know what oh. this is called, but um, I put, there was a, it's like a push pin that holds the molding on or whatever this is. And then I put a little shim underneath because it was a little bit too angled. And it's been holding up well. Oh, good. Originally, it kept falling. So we've, we're work, it's a work in progress. Perfect. And when it falls, you'll figure it out again. That's right. All right, that works. Yeah. Once again, thank you for showing us your home. We really appreciate oh, it. Oh, you're welcome. My yeah. pleasure. Folks yeah. up there, what did you think of our build? What was your favorite part? Have you ever had experience with a kit like this, like a Band Packers or one of the other kits that they sell? We'd love to hear it in the comments below. But if you got anything out of today's video, please go ahead and share it with your friends. Give us a big thumbs up. And until next time, we'll see you guys down the road. So long. Okay. See ya. Thank you Perfect. so much for giving a tour of, I'm gonna start that over. <laughs> I'm stumbling my I words. Know, right? No worries. <laughs> like, yes. Uh,